Hello everyone and welcome to the lesson where I will guide to you on how to build capital as quickly as possible. Because building capital is very important and a lot of people think that the only way is to get money from trading. But there are many more ways. In this lesson we will show you just the methods we know that work. Unfortunately, a lot of scam methods have sprung up lately where someone offers you capital for paying hundreds of dollars for a month of test trading with their company. But the problem is that the profit requirements you have to reach are absolutely unrealistic. And we believe that the goal of these, shall we say, institution is not to provide you with capital at all, but to get fees out of you. However, you can use that money much more effectively to build something of your own that is stable and functional. How do you work with capital? Simply put, you have two options. You can take your capital, say $1,000, and start trading with it, making money and so on. Or you can take that $1,000 that you trade on the stock market and combine it with a business. Generally, if you think about it, when you have some capital, you can trade it on the stock exchange, start a business or combine these two things. And it's how you combine the two that I'd like to focus on now, because it's something that we've got proven, we know it works, and we'd like to recommend it to you, even though in a way it's something that we've kind of discouraged you from doing in the course. But because we know it works well, we want to show it to you in a little bit more detail. Question. What do most people do when they trade a stock market? They have their strategies, they deploy those strategies, and they start evaluating their money, and that's it, nothing more. They start with thousands of dollars and gradually make like 30, 40, 50% a year, and they have no other profits. Some people, unfortunately, this group is quite large, start selling their strategies as soon as they build them or they start running their own funds after a year of practice and experiences and so on. They deploy their first strategy two weeks ago and still consider themselves world champions. That is wrong. That is, if you remember, peak of stupidity. And how do the professionals actually go about it? How did Warren Buffett himself go about it? How did he build his first capital? Or how did Benjamin Graham, the father of value investing, go about it? The man who came up with investing as we understand it today. These professionals started trading, got results, and then started offering their strategies, or in their cases, started setting up funds. And that's the path that works, and the one we recommend you to take. Start trading, get results. After, say, six months, for example, you will have some results. And if those results are good, then you can start offering the strategies in some way. You can sell them, uh, rent them, running. you can start running the fund. We will look at the first option in more detail today. To summarize it, there are basically three ways of trading on the stock market. You trade only your own strategies, that is, only your own capital. Then you start selling the strategies right away, or you can start trading profitably and then start selling your strategies. I can tell you right away that method number two is absolutely wrong. Until you have results, you can trust yourself, never ever start trading someone else's capital. The other two options are fine and up to you, but few people have so much capital to start with that they can immediately trade something bigger. Then a good strategy to increase capital is to use your strategies in another way and offer them to people who don't want to build or they can't build their own strategies. It is not very popular here in the Czech Republic in the Central Europe, but elsewhere in Europe or the US, it's very popular to buy strategies, rent them, invest in funds and so on. And I have to mention one thing here. 
a kind of a warning about what is really going on and what to please, please avoid. A couple of years ago, there was a, a rather large scandal where one company was offering 20% of monthly returns with a maximum drawdown of 20% of capital. But what was the reality? At the beginning, everything was growing really nicely, but then came the sharp drop, really significant one, which was at a maximum of 80%. The people who got involved lost 80% of their money to the initial capital value. So please, we make a very serious appeal to you. Don't sell people nonsense. Sell them what will make them money and what you believe in. Be fair if you choose to sell strategies and build capital this way. Anyway, how to make it right? You take profitable strategies or portfolios and offer those. You give people the opportunity to buy them or rent them and so on. The important thing is that you have results for at least, at least six months, that it's something that you yourself believe in, that you yourself are trading it. And only at that point can you, you get offer it to others. Don't destroy the market. There are more than enough people who destroy the market by selling, pardon me, crap. So don't be another one of them. Really want to help others so you can be proud of yourself. You can raise a lot of capital by selling successful strategies. That's a simple fact. But how much money can you make? Let's see the numbers from practice. My colleague Tomas, uh, I mentioned him many times during strategy lab course. He used to do a lot of this and build up his initial capital by selling strategies. So we have real numbers and we know what can be reasonably achieved. What I'm going to show you now are the stats for the individual products uh, that were sold. And at the end, I will show you like overall stats you can see that sometimes it was four hundred dollars sometimes it was only fifty dollars or seventy dollars sometimes it was nothing but if you look at the overall summary there were months where Thomas had two thousand dollars other times one thousand dollar and the average profit from sales or rentals that Thomas had in a year was seven to ten thousand dollars and in the time he's been doing this he's made about twenty thousand dollars which is a very respectable result and now let's talk about how it works in practice about three possible ways how to practically start with the whole process and these are funds own website third-party service providers to specify it more in detail the funds are administratively very, very demanding, very expensive, and you have to build your personal brand and brand of the fund. In general, building a fund is very hard. If you have your own websites, you have to also take care of everything on your own. It is also quite expensive because if you want it to be a professional website, it costs ten thousand dollars minimally and again like in the previous option you have to build your personal brand so people would trust you so it's not so easy but when it comes to third parties like mql5 you pay some percent from your sales so there are not any costs for setting up a fund or developing a website and more or less it is anonymous not fully but there is just your name so, for example, when someone is struggling what people might think or say, this is the place where you can, let's say, hide yourself. Also, MQL5 is available right in the MetaTrader platform and many users use it there. The biggest advantage is, I guess, the fact that on the MQL market there are really thousands of traders every day from all over the world. The website is trusted and thousands of strategies are being sold every month. So there is a very high probability that you will be successful with your strategies as well. This third option 
is the easiest one because it is all embracing. You don't need to pay for anything in the beginning and you do not need some extra skills like in case of the first two options. Maybe you're asking what is the reality, how it really works? Well, if you will be skillful and you will dedicate your time in six to 12 months, you can start selling your strategies. You can increase your capital by adding the money that you earn to your trading account. And you will reach a very worth it income much faster. And actually, you can possibly do it for a living. It's up to you. Let's show an example of how it can work. And please consider that all the numbers I'm about to show you are hypothetical. Imagine that you trade for one year with an average monthly profit of 2%. 2% is the average profit, a bit more conservative, but let's, let's stay real. You start with $1,000 and at the end of the year, the profit is $268. So it is not a bad ratio, but the amount is not so interesting. Let's be honest. And how would it look like if you would be selling the strategies having $200 monthly profit? So it's for sold strategies per month. Then the profit is much higher. You've got profit from selling and profit from trading, which is a little bit higher because there is the profit from $2,400 from strategy selling. So the profit from trading is not 268 but 301. At the first side, it is not a huge difference in the total profit. But in the long term horizon, let me show you this table from a long term horizon point of view. So you would see how important it is to think in the long term. Once again, in one year, the profit is not high, but in the long term horizon, the numbers are very different. Basically, $100 monthly from strategy selling is enough. It means that you sell two or three strategies every month and the profit after 10 years is not 10,000 of net profit, but $45,500. If you would earn $500 monthly from strategy selling, which is absolutely real, remember my colleague Thomas and his results, the net profit in 10 years would be $188,000. In this picture, you can see how huge is the influence of time. You know, this is one of the things why we are still talking about how important it is to think in a long term horizon. And now the question that is, I'm almost sure, at the mind of almost every one of you. It could be nice to sell three or four strategies per month and it would be enough. But is there anyone who would actually buy my strategies? To answer this question, let's move to the MQL5 market website and show it practically. MQL5 market is owned by the same company as MetaTrader and mql5 and metatrader are connected together so you can sell your strategies on mql5 and load them there right from metatrader that's something that i already mentioned there are a lot of strategies that you can buy but a lot of those strategies have extreme results that people here don't believe so much and therefore don't buy them this is mostly because they are usually extremely high risk strategies or uh, based on the martingale principle and so on or on the other hand there are no results at all all the strategies are just expensive so if you decide to sell strategies here it is perfectly realistic because you can visibly stand out of, from the crowd by offering reasonable profits reasonable long-term results and of course a reasonable price there are quite a few strategies on the site, but considering how many people want to rent or buy strategies, the amount is not like astronomical. And you can sell as many as 50 of those strategies. You don't have to have just one or two or three. Assuming, of course, 
that you give it the time it takes and really has all those strategies tested and trust them 100% by yourself. Now, what do you need to sell the strategies? My colleague Thomas, as I mentioned, has a really lot of experience with this whole thing. So he prepared a special course, Strategy Provider. This course is dedicated to the topic of how to sell strategies in the most effective way. And also there is one specific, because to sell the strategies, you have to have them in a special format for MQL market. And we have a special business module in the Strategy Quant Ultimate called Strategy Quant for Business, which will allow you to explore the strategies right in that MQL format. Otherwise, you will have to ask a programmer to record it, and then it's really uh, very complicated. Uh, just reminder, this module is only included in the Ultima license, and it's the last tab of the main menu. It's called SQ for Business. And I think that's all for this lesson. Thank you for your attention. Have a great rest of the day. And don't forget to think about how you'd like to continue.